I would say that what I can see from here in the UK is that machine learning has been very helpful for NHS Digital to do management of resources in hospitals. So while initially we were hoping that machine learning, of course, can make a lot of new discoveries, and I still hope that machine learning can, can really help identify different uh, new markers of this disease and trajectories of this disease, where I think machine learning already has helped is in better planning of resources uh, in different hospitals. So together with NHS Digital, we have implemented this type of technologies and this platform is now running in multiple hospitals throughout the UK. So it is maybe not as glorious as making the biggest of findings of the disease, but I think it has helped in, in helping with better resource allocation within hospitals. So I think now is a good time to be a scientist. And what I mean by that is, at the moment, we're at a bit of a crossroads. Like, it's not obvious what the next direction is. Like, there are, as always, you know, some big waves, some trends that come along. And I think the good thing about the research now is that, um, in a way, because the, you know, uh, the straightforward applications have been done, uh, now uh, it's sort of interesting. It's, it's time to sort of think about how we use these tools moving forward. This is where the interesting science happens, because it's not that you're uh, doing what's obvious is what that you're sort of creating the next directions and so that's I think you know one of the best times to be in science is when uh, that stage happens. Another thing I really like about modern ML is the focus on interesting applications and so there's these wonderful workshops on you know climate science on medicine and so on and I love that the field now is you know not only uh, focusing on developing tools but also on really solving problems in the world. Um, I think that's a, a great and for the field recently. My research is often inspired by trying to develop technology that can be truly transformative and help humans live better, more fulfilled lives. I worked on many topics over my career, from signal processing to communication systems to game theory and now to machine learning for medicine and healthcare. But I think in all these areas, what most motivates me is the real world applications of these technologies and how it changes our lives for the better. I think uh, it's still to come. I think interaction with uh, students and newcomers to this field who are going to hopefully drive this field forward and bring it to, to new areas and new bring new ideas to it. So I look forward to interactions with the students over the coming days.